Hey everyone, Joel Lance here. Today we're in Des Moines, Iowa. Yes, Des Moines, Iowa, outside Lachelle's Fine Foods, which is a kind of family-centered burger restaurant, guys. And I tell you, specializing in smash burgers, they smell fantastic. As soon as I got out of my vehicle, I was like, oh my gosh, I smell beef. But they also have a whole bunch of different sandwiches. They have these giant foot-long hot dogs. Everything's coming super local, um, so that's kind of super cool. Like, the beef comes from, like, less than 50 miles here. Anyway, long story short, today we're doing an absolutely giant, yes, the biggest, biggest, biggest food challenge and burger challenge in all of Iowa. This is the, well, currently it's called the Ethan Teske Burger Challenge, so let me explain. So they have their base challenge, and whenever you beat it, you get to, like, it's named after you if you beat the record. So, for example, um, if the current record right now, which is 14 minutes and 50 some seconds, is beaten, then you get it named after you. So it'll be called the Joel Hansen Burger Challenge. Now, so there is that challenge. Then they actually have the next level up, which is double the challenge. So yes, doubled the challenge, which is also undefeated and unnamed. So today, that's what we're going to attempt. So what this regular challenge consists of is three of their giant double smash burgers, a full foot long hot dog, which is a chili dog, and a pound of their fries. So if we double it, we're gonna have six of their giant double smash burgers, two of their giant foot long hot dogs, and two pounds of their french fries. So potentially, if we can eat the first one in less than you know, 15 minutes, let's say, we'll get that named after us. And then we can also choose the name and name the second one. So making a long story short, we're gonna have upwards of about 10 pounds of burgers and fries here. It is a lot of food and hot dogs, of course. A lot, a lot of food, but I'm super excited. Um, this place has hit the market by storm. They have a second location opening. They've been open here about a year. This is called the Avenues, the area of Des Moines, which Des Moines is a beautiful city. I'm gonna show you some um, sites of Des Moines. Uh, but yeah, guys, like I said, Smash Burgers. I love a good burger. This is supposed to be some of the best burgers in all of Iowa. So uh, let's head in and let's have some of these food. Um, the challenge is like the standard challenge, again, you actually don't have a time limit. It is a one sitting finish for the three burgers, the one hot dog, the one pound of fries, and a $50 price tag if you do not, do not finish it. However, the second one, if that makes sense, is going to be a about you know $90-ish price tag, free if completed in one sitting. So that's a lot of info, but I hope that makes sense. So let's make a long story short. Two feet of hot dogs six giant double smash burgers and two pounds of fries. So that, let's head down to have some of these food and let's get eating. All right, everyone, so we're here with all the food. It looks very, very, very delicious. Uh, so we have two of the Lachelle's, we, which is like their standard burger. They're like name, I mean, it's the name burger. It has like a burger sauce on it. We have the Ron, which is more traditional cheeseburger. We then have the Denny, and then we have the Jake, and then we have the Gin, which has bacon on it. Then I have their uh, Weekender hot dog, which is like a chili dog, and then I have the Judy, which has like French fries and that like, uh, what do they call it, like a spicy gardenia thing, like kind of like a Chicago dog. And then of course, French fries. Um, so yeah, it looks really awesome. So again, if we eat like one hot dog and three of these in less than 15 minutes, plus half the fries, we get to rename the challenge and beat the first challenge and then eat it all to, you know, beat the double challenge and go from there. So at that, let's get started here just momentarily. Got to catch a pile, got all the burgers. I'm probably gonna start with uh, maybe this one here. This is the Ron. This is like the most traditional one, but guys, beautifully thin looking, crispy, awesome smash burgers. So I'm ready. Restaurant is ready. So, like I said, three burgers, one hot dog, some of the fries. We'll get that new record. So, how about we get started? We'll say the count of five, four, three, two, one. Let us eat. Mm. Oh, yeah. Guys, mm. that fat, wow, the way that this is perfect. Super juicy, great tasting beef. That is amazing. Alright, let's try this with shell. This is the burger sauce on it.
Great flavor. Cheesy pickles. Very good. Hey everyone, welcome to Zuber. Today we're here at Lachelle's taking on their one slash two burger challenges. Um, very delicious smash burgers. If you're not familiar with a smash burger, a smash burger is a burger cooked on a very high heat. It is smashed or pressed down. Um, and that high heat along with the fat, kind of that protein creates a really nice kind of crispness, um, you know, and kind of really like seals in a bit of juicy, you know, delicious fattiness on the patty. And they call their burger sauce? The LFF sauce. Personally, I like burgers of all varieties, but I'm really curious, do you prefer smash burgers or do you prefer a more traditionally cooked thicker burger? Let me know down below. Give me a hashtag smash or a hashtag thick. And yes, we're talking about burgers here. So back to this challenge again essentially we had the first challenge which was the three burgers the one hot dog and then we had the second challenge which was all the burgers and all the hot dogs i love how thin the, those smash burgers are so the hot dogs they had here were like a craft hot dog definitely in my opinion kind of more resembling a sausage but just absolutely these huge foot long extra thick um sausages or i guess hot dogs with these big natural casings on them and then the burgers i mean it was a delicious fatty succulent beef you're awesome I think the concept of the place is just simple and awesome. I mean, you're talking delicious smash burgers, a special, yes, they have a special burger every single day of the year. So we're talking over 300 different burger specials. And in the year that they've been open, they only repeat it a uh, burger like three times, which is absolutely insane. And sometimes it's like, you know, Nash, like a, a hot chicken or a chicken. Sometimes it's a beef variant. How are we doing for time? About 3.20 a.m. Hot dog and surprise. Great tasting smash burgers, those guys. Really enjoy a smash burger. Let's try this uh, Weekender. So this is the chili dog. Looks really good. And these giant, giant, they're like sausages basically, but. Oh, wow. Wow. Natural casing on that. Dude. Good flavor. Real porky. Iowa and the Midwest are known for pork. There were no time limits on either challenge. It's just a one sitting uh, completion, um, which I think kind of you know adds uh, to I'm gonna say the ease of this. Like I'd say the base challenge is pretty like beginner slash intermediate, but when you get to the double challenge, that is definitely an expert level challenge. I mean the expert is up of definitely upwards of 10 pounds at least you know good nine pounds of food um, you know but whereas you know if you do the regular version it'd be you know let's say four and a half or you know five somewhere in that range um, if you do want to try the challenge uh, I think you can just show up but you better double check that in case they need some notice of attempt that's some of these fries <laughs> Delicious fries, guys. Just like salt. Simplicity is best. This area of town was also uh, pretty cool looking. It was kind of like hip and upcoming, I guess you could say. It was definitely close to the downtown, which I'll show you at the end of the video. Downtown Des Moines is beautiful. Skin on, nice and crispy. But that's pretty much the majority of the information. Um, hopefully that was, you know, clear. Or you can understand the difference between like the one challenge, two challenge. I know that was a lot of info. It maybe was a little confusing. Um, that being said, we were hoping to finish up the first challenge with the completion of the French fries, and then obviously move on to the second. However, this brings me to an interesting point. If I was to complete all this, would you classify that as a one challenge win or two challenge wins? 
I was just classifying it as one challenge win, but arguably I think there could be you know a point to be made that this is two different challenges. So let me know down below if we were to complete this, if you think this would be one challenge win or two challenge wins. I also have this house dressing in there so I want to try. Ooh. Peppery. Really good. Alright. We have my ketchup. How many minutes in are we? 6.48, guys. Let's finish off some of these fries. Woo! I watch your videos all the time. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, so what, we're well done the first one. There you go. So official time, eight minutes for the first challenge. We did get a new record, so we'll be named the Joel Hanson Challenge, which is pretty cool. Cool to have a you know, challenge named after us. Now, second challenge, we are finish off the set, the two, the double. We have all the burgers, like that. And then the hot dog. Get some air out of me. For these ones I can slow down, enjoy a little bit more. Although, again, as this one will also be named after us, until the record gets beaten, we'll make it a good time as well. Mm. That uh, gardini or whatever you call it on that hot dog, very, very good. Jardinier. Awesome. Shout out these burgers, those guys. Great taste. And we are live, so thanks everybody for tuning in on the live stream. Alright, this is the. Uh, what's wrong with the, uh, the Jake with the onions? Looks good. Mm. Wow. Rehydrated onions on that, guys. Ooh. What's that? A spicy mustard or horseradish? That is a spicy mustard. Really good, though. What kind of mustard is that? Like, what's the brand? I wanted to get some. I'll take it. A gallon of mustard, guys. It's really spicy, but really flavorful. All right. Ooh. Making our way, guys. Two burgers and a hot dog left. There you go, guys. Ten minutes in. Uncle Denny, guys, let's give it a rock and roll. See some caramelized onions, arugula. The arugula just tastes very like fresh. Good combo. Got some hot sauce too. Great taste in burgers. One thing I love about the Smash Burger is generally has a higher fat content in the beef, so it's super rich. And these are huge. I guarantee you. Thank you. There is nobody that's going to need to eat six of these. To be full. These are giant, very filling, satiating burgers. And then those hot dogs are giant as well. And last but not least, I think this is the gym, if I'm not mistaken. Bacon? What else do we have on here?
Jeff is just not pro though. It's actually pretty spicy. Duke's mayo on here. Super rich. That bacon. Definitely a filling burger. Last bite of burgers, guys. Woo! Some heavy, rich burgers. Good sauce, though. All right, well, last but not least, the Judy. Another LFF sauce, french fries. We had all that gardenia, gardenera, whatever it is. I ate most of it off already. Woo! Here we go. Rock and roll. A lot of food there, buddy. And these hot dogs are more like sausage. Oh wow. That is really good. The acidity in that sauce and on the uh, spicy whatever really goes well with that uh, richness of that pork. All right, Woo. a lot of food. How we doing for time, Court? 16 minutes down. We are done. You are. Nice job. Thank you. Ooh, that was a lot of food. Real, real, real quick. I gotta say though, absolutely delicious. I was super impressed with the smash burgers. They really are made right. Excuse me, there's that burp. Comments to the chef. There's another one coming. They do the smash burgers right. Just that super high heat. Smash down, gives you that nice crust on that burger. Super juicy, super delicious. The hot dogs, I've never really had a hot dog like that. Arguably, I'd say it was almost more like a sausage, but it was definitely not your ordinary sausage or hot dog. Tasted good. Giant though, and that natural casing. I don't know if the camera was catching this, but every time I bit into the one of those hot dogs, this once or twice I started looking around because with that casing, it would squirt juice. There was like juice shrapnel going everywhere. So to be honest, I kept seeing if it's gonna hit one of these guys. Um, but yeah, so for that, we do get the uh, both meals for free. We did beat the traditional single challenge. We beat the double challenge. We do get to name the second challenge and the first challenge will be named the Joel Hansen challenge essentially. So, woo, it was a good one. But a lot of food guys, that was like, that was a lot. Well, like nine pounds, nine, ten pounds, nine, ten pounds, guys. So, Whew. well, with that, everybody, if you're ever in the Des Moines area, definitely check out Lachelle's. Absolutely loved it. Um, we got the uh, second location opening up here as well. This, again, like walk in burger counter service joint, super awesome. It's like family oriented. I really get those like old, kind of old timey diner vibes in a way, but it's super modern. And uh, really cool thing, which they do have today, is a Nashville hot chicken rendition. They have a special burger slash sandwich slash whatever every single day. Yes, so like 
365 variations a year. They've been open for about a year, and the gentleman said they've only repeated one three times. Which, there you go, there's that burp. So we're talking over 300 different burger specials, which is nuts. So literally every time you come in here, there will be something new. Oh, there we go. Excuse me. Like I said, it was good food. That's you, you hear it. Compliments to all the guys cooking it. But then everybody, like I said, cool spot. Definitely stop by in Des Moines. Des Moines, Iowa. Really good place. Great food, great people. And uh, that's about that. So, of course, everybody, until next time, stay happy, healthy, hungry, happy eating. Have a lovely day. Don't do what I do. I would definitely recommend coming on by to get yourself a burger. You don't need six. And you don't need two hot dogs in one sitting. But, maybe over the span of a couple of weeks or a month, you definitely try the whole menu in the whole menu plus subs. So, really delicious, guys. And with that, that's about it. So, huge thanks to staff. And until next time, have a lovely day. Iowa. There's a few notable sites we're gonna go see. We'll show you like the Capitol building. That's definitely a, a very notable one with the gold top. Um, there's some big arch bridge thing, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna loop around here and we'll just have some fun. Here we have what they call the Central Library. It looks really cool. It uh, It's big, almost like copper panes or like colored panes, which is pretty unique. Kind of mirrored as well, so like yellow, well not yellow, reddish paned, you know, gold-ish reflective mirror thingy things. So here we have this mirror kind of cylinder, which is pretty cool, it's different colors. Here we have a tree that is, a, yes it is a decoration, a piece of art. We have this whatever that is i don't even know just some well it's cool i mean it, it, it's a very rustic looking piece of metal this is really cool this is like a pear or a squash or a gourd i like that it's a pumpkin there you go pumpkin pretty cool and this is cool this is called white ghost white ghost Definitely an interesting piece. We have this cool gathering circle with chairs and the table. And then we have these guys right here. I like these guys. These guys are cool. They remind me of um, like chess figures or dominoes or whatever. And that was pretty much it. That's I think literally every statue or sculpture or 99% of them. But yeah, these are pretty cool. So. Definitely would recommend right downtown in Des Moines. And my feeling in Des Moines so far is it's very, I, I like it. It's like downtown-ish, but it feels very safe and clean. So thumbs up. Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe, yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And with that, thank you so much, you rock.